Good morning, my name is John, and this is the Homestead Diary. It is Monday. It is a crisp Monday, at least crisp for Missouri. I uh, woke up this morning to the sound of the dogs barking, and of course they're just barking, barking, barking at, oh, I don't know, nothing, because as the moment that I walk out the door, the barking stops, I walk up the hill, and I go say, hey, what's up? And they just kind of look at me like, well, what are you doing out here? Why are you awake? And so, you know, that's... Uh, that's typical. I uh, don't remember a single time that I came out when the dogs were barking and actually saw anything, which is just bizarre because you would think that there's a reason why they're there to be doing something and there's just nothing. And what's even worse is when you go out, see that there's nothing, and then you go back in and they start barking immediately and you open the door and they hear it open and then they stop barking again. So, I don't know, dogs. I assume they're doing something because we haven't had much predation in regards to deer and I don't remember the last time that we actually lost an animal, which is awesome. But the thing is, the, the dog that is providing the animal protection uh, is way over on the other side of the property and I almost never hear him bark unless the UPS guy is driving by. So, anyway, that's kind of what's going on. It's been my morning. But it's a nice, beautiful morning. Like I said, crisp. I got down to 38 degrees last night, which sounds not that cold when you're from places that I've been before. But when it's been 90 for months at a stretch, it's awful nice to feel some what feels like cold weather. Uh, but oddly enough, uh, no freezing predicted for the next week or so. And so... I'm all right with that too. It's already the 16th of October, and normally we've got frost by this point. And so, I don't mind that. Extends the garden a little bit further. So today, working on siding. Um, you can see the, the front of the house here. We've got the last of the siding going up on, on the front. And then there's a little section up here that isn't done yet. And what we're actually gonna do is there's gonna be uh, a board that's going to go across here and then we're going to wrap it around and create uh, basically a, a what do you call it basically a cavity behind there uh, that will just be nothing but what will it will allow us to do is from this side over to that side we're going to extend the gutter and so all the water is going to go from that side of the house to that side of the house and it'll be collected in water collection tanks have an alternative uh, water system in the, event that the, <clears throat> in the event that the well goes down, which it has before, uh, not necessarily the well, but the equipment uh, that allows us to get water from the well. If that goes down, then we'll just be able to fire up the, the alternative system that will put water into the house just as if it was a well. And we'll have, well, at this point, we're looking around a thousand gallons of, of water storage, which can last us a few days. I mean, obviously not if we're irrigating, but just for basic domestic household use. It'll work out just fine. And so, just something that we're working on putting together, uh, backups for backups and all that sort of stuff. So, anyway, should be a good day working on the scaffolding and enjoying the beauty here of God's creation. Hope you all have a blessed day.